I think, as more people come out ahead of lunch. And things certainly, Malu, have increased uh, size-wise. That's right, Jeremy. In fact, when we were talking earlier, it was literally empty here, but now you can see some of the employees at the SABC here in Auckland Park are picketing um, here over those retrenchments that are looming about 1,000 uh, permanent staff will be retrenched in the SABC, saying that it will also not renew the contracts of about 1,200 uh, freelancers. I think also, Jeremy, what is more interesting, I've also seen the chief operations officer here uh, of the SABC, Chris Marulenga, and I suppose he is the one, Jeremy, that will be receiving the memorandum from these uh, protesting workers. Jeremy, it has been one of those days. I mean, I was interacting with some of the um, workers uh, here at the SABC. One of the things that I've been told was that there was a communique um, that was sent to them warning them about uh, taking part in this protest. In fact, one of the people that I was talking to was saying that um, that um, email was actually quite threatening and hence some of the people that would have wanted to be part of this picket are not here at the moment. Malu, you said a little earlier that uh, the union concern was that the SABC or the management of the SABC didn't have good ideas on how to save money. I'm wondering whether you've put it to the unions themselves, whether they have better solutions. Well, one of the things, Jeremy, the unions have actually said was that the SABC needs to beef up and make sure that it does have a good content so that they can be able to sell their advertising space and that's how they can really um, make money and bring in the much needed um, revenue here at the SABC but also one of the things that um, Bimau, I remember having this conversation with a Bimau representative saying that the, the SABC needs really to also be put on business rescue so that um, they can be people People that can assist um, management or assist in running um, the SABC so that they can be uh, the SABC can be able to be viable again and bring in um, money. The SABC, the SABC bosses will tell you, Jeremy, that the company, is, 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 the, the public broadcaster, is running at a loss. And this is something that, as South Africans, we know too well because each and every year the SABC will be calling for a government bailout. In fact, the SABC has said that, Jeremy, with these retrenchments, they'll be able to save per annum about four. 400, 400 million rand, Jeremy. That's a lot of money. So they're saying that um, this has to happen. We know, though, Jeremy, the first consultation with all the affected parties with the CCMA is expected to start next week. It's a lunchtime picket, as you mentioned to us earlier. Is this likely at all to have an impact on the, the product, the broadcasting? Well, Jeremy, it's anyone's guess, really, because some of the people that are here have taken part, uh, are taking, uh, have taken their lunch time to be part of of, 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 of of this picket. And I was talking to one of the of the people that are taking part, was saying that well, she felt the need to use her lunch time to be to, to be part of, of of this demonstration to fight um, this um, this re retrenchment by, by, by the SABC. I'm just going to ask my colleague to move with me, Jeremy, just for a moment so that we can understand some of the messages that are on these um, placards that are being branded by the employees here at the SABC. For example, this one says, away with nepotism at the SABC. And this one, uh, please come across and say, I just want to look at that retrenchment. This one says, retrenchment drives workers to poverty. That's a Exactly, Jeremy, what these workers are saying, that they're saying that losing their jobs would drive them into the streets and drive them to poverty. Right, uh, Malungelu Boy, thank you very much indeed. We'll check in with you a little later outside the SABC's headquarters in Auckland Park.